Firetruck is a sliding puzzle game developed by Elegant Soft Incorporation. This game is a variation of a classic puzzle called Red Donkey or Death Puzzle. Firetruck comes with a full version and a free version. The free version has all the functions of the full version, but displays ads and has fewer puzzles in each difficulty level. Now, let me start Firetruck. This is the main menu. From here, I can play a game by clicking the Play Game button. I can watch or see the game being replayed in scoreboard, or I can learn about this game from help. Let me first click the Play Game button. From the Play Game menu, I can start a new puzzle. I can resume the puzzle I'm currently playing, or I can select a puzzle from one of the five difficulty levels. Let me first start a new puzzle. After clicking the New Puzzle button, the easiest puzzle which I have not solved is loaded. The goal is to move the largest fair track piece to the bottom center of the game board to put out the fire. I can use my finger to touch a piece and drag it to an empty spot. Whenever I'm stuck, I can click the Hint button and the built-in AI engine will make the right move for me. The top left corner of the game board shows that this puzzle is the number three at the super easy level and the minimum required moves is five. The right top corner of the game board shows that I have already made six moves and two of these moves are from hints. Now let me solve this puzzle. After the puzzle is solved, I can save my solution to the scoreboard and continue play. Or I can hit the Do Not Save button. I will directly move to the next puzzle. Let me save the solution and continue. You can see that a new puzzle is showing. While I'm playing this puzzle, if I want to do other things, for example, go to the scoreboard to show my friends my solutions, I can click the pause button and the play game menu is showing. I can resume the puzzle I just paused by clicking the resume puzzle button. Let me pause this puzzle again. I can st start a new puzzle or select a puzzle. I'll talk about the select puzzle later. For now, let me click the back button. Go back to the main menu and enter the scoreboard. In the scoreboard, I can see a list of all the saved solutions. For each solution, the puzzle info and the player info are displayed. I can click a solution and then click play. My solution will be automatically played. Notice that on the top right corner, the number of moves and the number of hints are changed accordingly. At any time, I can click the pause button to pause the replay. I can then click the play button to let it continue. I can click the stop button to return to the scoreboard. Let me replay a solution to the end. When the replay completes, I need to click the stop button to return to the scoreboard. In the scoreboard, if I want to delete a saved solution, I can swipe my finger from left to right and then click delete. Touching somewhere else cancels deletion. Now let me show you how to select a puzzle. Let me go back to the main menu, click play game and then select puzzle. I choose a difficulty level, for example, super easy. And then I can scroll up and down to see all the puzzles at this level. If a puzzle is in green color, that means I have already solved this puzzle. If a puzzle is in red color, that means I have not played the puzzle yet. 
I can click the reset button to make all the puzzles unsolved. By clicking on a thumbnail, I select a puzzle to play. Fairtrack can save the game state, which means that if this app quits for any reason, for example, by a phone call or by clicking the home button, I can always go back to where I left. This ends my demo. If you want to learn more about this game or if you want to report issues, please check our website at www.elegantsoft.com or you can drop us an email at support at elegantsoft.com. Thank you very much.